Hi, in today's video, we're excited to demonstrate the Navix camera motion bypass and address input unit for the 22 and your Dodge Ram Super Duty truck. So it's the 2500s and up um, that have the trailer mirrors and have the 360 camera system, similar to what you see displayed here. Using this unit, you can have the left and the right turn camera turn and come up automatically using the turn signal. And you can view all the cameras at any speed going down the road. The unit will also let you change to the view. You can actually change the view that you see when you put the car in reverse. So every time you go in reverse, you'll see that new view that you chose versus the original view. And, and we'll show you how to do a simple way to change between the two views. So let's go ahead and demo the left and the right turn signal first. So at any speed, hit the left. It'll signal adjust the left camera. Let's hit the right. Okay, now let me show you the priority cameras that we have. So let's put the car in reverse. All right, and this is the standard view. Uh, let's change to to view. So let's say I want to have this view. So put the car in park. Put the car in reverse. And now remember this view. So if in the meantime I need to see this view because maybe I'm backing up to a trailer versus the other view and I want it to come on automatically, uh, you can have that view or any factory view that you see on the bottom of the screen those five icons you can choose and that'll be your standard view so let's put the car back in park all right um, uh, by holding the button on the back of the steering wheel on the right side you will force the cameras and you can do this while the car is driving we're just showing you while you park uh, and you can pretty much choose any view you want here and it will stay on for the duration you know for as long as you keep it on let's go ahead and turn this function off it's turned off the same way and you must if you engage it you must turn it off the same way not using the x on the screen all right let's put the car in speed and drive slowly and we'll show you that all these functions work in motion all right let's hit the left turn signal all right let's hit the right turn signal all right let's uh engage the cameras let's hold the button on the back of the steering wheel all right there we go let's change the view let's look at a different view while we're driving forward okay there we go now we can make sure our trailer is still hitched all right let's try to put in an address so let's uh, go into the navigation so besides this, this unit will also let you input addresses into the navigation or to CarPlay and Android Auto while driving. That's going to be done. So let's go to search. All right, let's try to put in an address. You see it's not available while driving. So let's hold the button on the left side of the steering wheel this time. All right, and there's your keyboard. All right, so there you go. So this unit will let you use all the cameras in motion. It'll give you a left and right camera. You can have them, you can view them automatically with the turn signal. And now we'll show you, hit the left turn camera. All right, let's say you don't want to see this function. Let me show you how to turn it off. So you're gonna press and hold the screen off button. Five seconds. All right, click it again. Now let's try the left turn or the right turn. And you see the function is disabled. All right, and it'll be the same way to bring this function back on. All right, so if you have a 22 or newer RAM, or even an older RAM, we cover every RAM from 2019 all the way up to 23 have been tested. And if you have the 360 camera system and you want to have access to all your cameras in motion, we got the kit for you. Make sure to visit Navix.com and thank you for watching.